Hi friends, in this video we are going to discuss about full pitch winding and short pitch winding. This is very 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 important for our examination. Right? Now see here, what is full pitch winding? I have given you already. Full pitch winding nothing but in which coil span in which coil span is exactly equals to 180 degrees that is called full pitch winding. If the coil span is if the coil span is less than 180 degree it is called short pitch winding. And in which pole pitch is exactly equals to 180 degrees that is full pitch winding. In which the pole pitch is less than 180 degrees it is called short pitch winding. In which the short pitch angle short pitch angle alpha is exactly equals to zero that is called full pitch winding. If alpha is greater than zero, that is a short pitch winding. This is simply what is full pitch winding, what is short pitch winding. Then after. In generally, here we have a full pitch winding and short pitch winding. We have already full pitch winding, then why we are preferring short pitch winding here? Why we are preferring the short pitch winding here? Can you tell me why we are preferring the short pitch winding other than the full pitch winding? In full pitch winding, EMF is more, more EMF will develop because more number of slots are there. Here, less EMF because less number of slots and short pitching here. This is a disadvantage even though we are using short pitch winding more than full pitch winding because in full pitch winding EMF is more but not a sinusoidal but not a sinusoidal EMF even though here EMF is less but uh, sinusoidal EMF is there sinusoidal EMF is there this is the main advantage now you have a question Sir, why here EMF is not a sinusoidal and why here EMF is a sinusoidal? Because, because due to, due to lower order harmonics, lower order harmonics are dominant harmonics, dominant harmonics, dominant harmonics are three, five seven harmonics what is here here emf is not a sinusoidal why because due to lower order harmonics or dominant harmonics are three five seven harmonics because of this harmonics here emf is not a sinusoidal here, this lower order harmonics eliminated. Lower order harmonics eliminated. That's why the EMF is sinusoidal. Nothing but by using short pitch winding, we can eliminate, we can eliminate three, five, seven harmonics. Generally, I given you about harmonics in transformer. In generally, one is the fundamental. Other than this, 3, 5, 7, and 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, 19. These are the harmonics. Even harmonics are eliminated automatically. And these are called dominant harmonics. These are called insignificance harmonics. These are called lower order harmonics. These are called higher order harmonics. And these lower order harmonics, due to this lower order harmonics, EMF is not a sinusoidal. This lower order harmonics eliminated by using short pitch winding. 
in generally in our electrical system for ac system most of the cases we are using short pitch winding because due to this harmonics emf may not be sinusoidal that's why we have to eliminate this harmonics how we can eliminate this harmonics by using the short pitch winding this is very important concept let's see how we can eliminate this harmonics okay what is short pitch winding and what is full pitch winding let's see by an example Okay, I am taking one example for this is a full pitch winding and short pitch winding. I am taking one example for this full pitch winding and short pitch winding. See carefully, this is very important. <coughs> right. I am taking one example. Listen carefully. A three phase, four pole, 36 slots, 36 slots alternator alternator this is my question a three phase four pole 36 slots alternator can you tell me how many number of poles are there here four poles how many slots 36 slots let's see i have a four poles like this i have a four poles I have completely 36 slots. Can you tell me how many slots for each pole? Slots per pole, we have to calculate. Slots per pole is exactly equals to 9. So, every pole having 9 slots. Every pole having 9 slots. Finally, 36 slots. This is the first one. And next one, slot angle, slot angle, gamma is equals to, we have a formula, 180 degrees upon slots per pole. I given you, this is very important. Can you tell me what is the answer? 180 degrees upon 9, nothing but 20 degrees, that's it. So here, gamma is equals to 20 degrees. Gamma, nothing but gamma boleto slat angle. Slat angle boleto for each slat the angle. For each slat the angle, 20 degrees each. How many are there? Here, 9 are there. 9 of 20. 9 of 20, 180. This is our coil span. This is our coil span actually. Here my coil span 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 29 times is equals to 180. Here the coil span is 180 degrees. Hence, this is a full pitch winding. They will ask you a question. What is short pitch angle here? Short pitch angle. Short pitch angle alpha is equals to how much? There is no short pitching. Then what is the alpha? What is the alpha? Alpha is zero. So here alpha plus beta zero plus 180 is exactly equals to 180. This is our explanation for full pitch winding with an example so here every pole having nine slots that is fully pitched that is coil span is 180 degrees this is clear are you okay listening or not okay so next example for short pitch winding this is very important this is a question for our exam so i am taking the same example same example three phase Four pole, 36 slots alternator, 36 slots alternator, is it okay? 36 slots alternator, short pitched by, short pitched by, short pitched by three slots. They're given, they're given the question like this, short pitched by three slots. Nothing but the common data is common. Number of poles 4, number of slots 36. And here extra data is short pitched by 3 slots. Nothing but here they given alpha in terms of 
slots, not in terms of angle. They given slots. So alpha is equals to three slots. Alpha is equals to three slots. Can you tell me what is slots per pole actually? Actually, slots per pole is equals to nine. What is the slot angle actually? Actually, the slot angle gamma is equals to 180 by slots per pole, 20 degrees up to this, everything is same. We have a four poles actually, we have a four poles actually, and actually each pole should have nine slots. Each pole should have nine slots. This is the ideal case. But short picture by three slots. What they given? I am going to short pitch my machine by three slots. These three slots are not there. Short picture by three slots. What is each angle? Each angle 20 degrees. Now what is the coil span? The coil span Beta is equals to how many are there? Six slots are there, each of 20 degrees. Finally, the total angle is 120 degrees, which is less than 180, which is called a short pitch angle, short pitch winding, short pitch winding. Sir, this coil span is 120, where is remaining 60 degrees? The remaining 60 degrees short picture here. We short picture three slots each of 20 degrees. So the short pitch angle alpha is equals to three slots here. The short picture three slots each of 20 degrees. Finally 60 degrees which is greater than zero degrees. This is the short pitch angle. Once check it, is it alpha plus beta is equal to 180 or not? What is my alpha? My alpha 60, my beta 120, which is equals to 180. I have given you already alpha plus beta should be equals to. Tell me, should be equals to 180 degrees. That's good. So this is generally short pitch winding explanation very 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 important question for us okay this is an example for short pitch winding and full pitch winding so here we have to eliminate this three five seven harmonics what is the criteria how we can eliminate this three five seven harmonics let's see right let's see Generally, we are discussing about full pitch and short pitch windings, right? In generally, in full pitch winding, the number of slots are in phase to each other. For example, I am taking two number of slots. In full pitch winding, the two number of slots are in phase to each other. Whereas in short pitch winding, the number of slots are not in phase. These are displaced by short pitch angle alpha. Short pitch angle alpha. For example, the EMF in this slot is E and EMF in this slot is E. EMF in this slot is E and E both are same. What is the total EMF in full pitch winding? The EMF developed in full pitch winding is equals to these two are in phase to each other. So arithmetic sum are vector sum. We can make it in arithmetic. So what is answer? E plus E is nothing but 2E. Sir, I will do in vector. Then what is the answer? Let's do in vector also square root of E1 square plus e2 square, e1 square plus e2 square plus 2, e1, e2 cos theta. What is cos theta angle between? What is the angle between these two? Zero. What is cos zero? Can you tell me what is cos zero? Cos zero is a one. So e square plus e square, 2 e square plus 2 e square, 4 e square, 4 e square. 4 e square can be written as 2 e 
whole square, square root cancel, then what is the answer? Two units. So when the two vectors are in phase, don't go for vector sum. It is easy in vector arithmetic sum because the answer is same. Okay, whatever. This is a arithmetic sum. No need of vector sum. This is simply a arithmetic sum. That's enough. But here, see, this is, we must go for vector sum because this is a vector difference. So, this is the EMF developed for short pitch winding. So, tell me, EMF developed for short pitch winding is equals to square root of E1 square plus, tell me, yeah, very good, E2 square plus, tell me, 2 e1 e2 cos theta what is theta here here theta is a alpha right so tell me now what is the answer here square root of e square plus e square 2 e square plus 2 e square 2 e square cos alpha then how we can take a common of 2 e square Take a common of 2 e square of 1 plus cos alpha. Now tell me, tell me 2 e square of how 1 plus cos alpha can be written as. How we can return this 1 plus cos alpha? Very good, very good. 1 plus cos alpha can be written as 2 cos square alpha by 2. 2 cos square alpha by 2. This could be written as like this. So now tell me what is finally, what is finally our answer? 2, 2, 2 square and e square and cos square alpha by 2. Uh, all the squares gets cancelled for root, square root, right? So what is the answer? 2 e cos alpha by 2. Remember this. No one knows this answer. Remember this. This is important for us. So the EMF developed in short pitch winding is equals to 2 e cos alpha by 2. EMF developed for full pitch winding is equal to 2 e for 2 number of slabs. Right? Now, the very important point, Kp. Well known point, right? So, Kp. Now, tell me, what is Kp? What is Kp? Kp is nothing but pitch factor. Very good. Still, what it is called? We have many names for Kp. Kp. Kp is nothing but pitch factor. Pitch factor. Or coil span factor. Or charding factor. Charding factor. They may give you any one name. Don't remember blindly pitch factor. It may also call the charting factor. So, can you tell me what is a what is a definition for Kp? I know the formula. You know the formula. That is not here. I am asking you. What is the definition of Kp? Can you anyone? Give me the answer. Give me intelligent. Very good. What is Kp? The definition of Kp? Kp is nothing but the ratio of the ratio of EMF induced EMF induced in short pitch winding upon EMF induced in short pitch winding upon EMF induced in full pitch winding. This is not exactly correct answer. What is exact answer? Here, vector sum of, vector sum of EMF induced in short pitch winding upon arithmetic sum of, arithmetic sum of EMF induced in full pitch winding. This is 100% correct answer. 
remember this so vector sum of emf induced in short pitch winding by arithmetic sum of emf induced in full pitch winding this is the correct answer so tell me what is kp formula now the emf induced in short pitch winding emf induced in short pitch winding is 2e cos alpha by 2 and emf induced in full pitch winding that is arithmetic sum 2e what 2e 2e cancel so kp is equals to cos alpha by 2 a well known formula in our synchronous machine i think s or no you s or no right right sir so kp is equals to cos alpha by 2 so this is completed now the main concept starts here kp is equals to cos alpha by 2 but i want kp3 can you tell me what is the answer for kp3 kp3 is equals to cos 3 alpha by 2 i want kp5 can you tell me kp5 is equals to cos phi alpha by 2 yes or no i want kpn kpn is equals to cos n alpha by 2 this is our answer yes or no i want to eliminate harmonics i want to eliminate nth order harmonics to eliminate nth order harmonics we should make it zero kpn should be zero so cos of n alpha by 2 is equals to zero how we can write zero in terms of cos tell me cos zero when we can get the zero in cos cos 90 degrees zero so cos of theta is equals to cos of theta so theta is equals to theta can you anyone tell me what is alpha from this equation very good very good so alpha is equals to 180 degrees upon n where n is the order of harmonics n is the order of harmonics this is very 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 important one alpha is equals to 180 by n very 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 important thing why because this is very 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 important because because let's see here i want to eliminate third order harmonics to eliminate to eliminate third order harmonics third order harmonics alpha is equals to how much can you tell me alpha is equals to how much alpha is equals to 180 by n where n is the order of harmonics so alpha is equals to 60 degrees very important thing i want to eliminate fifth order harmonics then what is alpha give me the answer fast calculate it fast very good very good what is the answer 180 by 5 180 by 5 is nothing but 36 degrees are you okay now i want to eliminate seventh order harmonics then what is alpha calculate it fast come on do it 180 by 7 who will give the answer very good answer 25.5 degrees so this is very important now by using short pitch winding i can eliminate third fifth and seventh order harmonics by short pitch angle yes or no right so here very special question this is the special question i want to eliminate to eliminate fifth and seventh order harmonics alpha is equals to how much this is the question sir to eliminate fifth 180 by 5 to eliminate seventh 180 by 7 but i want to eliminate fifth and seventh combinedly how tell me tell me here 
to eliminate fifth, to eliminate fifth, 30, 60 degrees. And to eliminate seventh, 25.5 degrees, take a average. So the answer is nearly 30 degrees. 30 point something will come, but the answer is 30 degrees to eliminate fifth and seventh order harmonics. Alpha is equals to 30 degrees. Nice. So this is the question they will ask you on competitive exam nation. Here, here. I have alpha to eliminate third order 180 by 3. To eliminate third order 180 by 3. Can you tell me what is beta? What is coil span to eliminate third order? Nothing but 180. 180. When we can get the 180? If alpha 60 and beta 120, then we can get the 180. Alpha plus beta should be equals to alpha plus beta should be equals to 180. Beta is equals to 180 minus alpha. Beta is equals to 180 minus 60, 120. Now tell me what is answer fast, fast, fast. Give me the answer fast. Yeah, 180 minus 36, 144 degrees. Very good. What is here beta? Beta is equals to 180 minus 25.5 degrees. If you subtracted this 25.5 degrees, 154.5 degrees, 154.5 degrees. These are the questions they are asking in general. Right? Here we have a small trick also. Substitute this alpha here. So beta is equals to 180 minus 180 upon n. 180 comma 180 of n minus 1 by n. What is that? Beta is equals to 180 of n minus 1 by n. This is the answer. Coil span. To eliminate third order harmonics, to eliminate third order harmonics, beta is equals to beta is equals to 180 of 3 minus 3 minus 1 by 3, 3 1s are 3 6s are 62s are 62s are 120 degrees. To eliminate third order harmonics, alpha 60, so beta 120. Or to eliminate third harmonics, beta 120, beta 120, so alpha 60. How? Alpha plus beta 180. This is the question they will ask you. Only this is the question. They may ask you another question. To eliminate third order harmonics, to eliminate third order harmonics, Kp is equals to simple question. Kp! What is Kp, sir? Kp, Kp is a nothing but cos alpha by 2, cos alpha by 2 to eliminate third order harmonics. So, alpha is equals to 60 degrees, cos 60 by 2, cos 30. Cos 30 value, can you tell me? What is cos 30? Tell me. It is not sine 30, it is cos 30. Cos 30 root 3 by 2. Root 3 by 2 boleto. 0 0.866. So, to eliminate third order harmonics, Kp is equals to cos alpha by 2 is equals to like this. For example, to eliminate, to eliminate fifth order harmonics, Kp is equals to. This is for, to eliminate third order. This is for to eliminate fifth order. Kp is equals to cos of 36 by 2. That is cos 18 degrees. Cos 18 nothing but 0 0.951 something. You should remember that values. Okay. Are you okay? So this is simply they will ask you questions. Okay. Actually the concept is completed. Finally I will ask you one question. What is Kp for full pitch winding? Tell me the answer fast. Tell me the answer fast. What is Kp for full pitch winding? 
don't know you know very well just just think it yeah very good answer very good answer what is kp for full pitch winding i said you for full pitch winding beta 180 if beta 180 alpha 0 for full pitch winding alpha 0 so kp is equals to cos alpha by 2 cos of 0 by 2 what is 0 by 2 half of the 0 no there is no half zeros only zeros so cos 0 what is cos 0 cos 0 1 so for full pitch winding kp is equals to 1 for full pitch winding kp is equals to 1 for short pitch winding always kp less than 1 for short pitch winding always kp less than 1 always kp less than 1 for short pitch winding for full pitch winding kp is equals to 1 this is another important question another important question are you okay getting or not right now the final question sir you are getting final question final question final question this is fifth question right no problem this is very important for our examination next question next question for example i have kp1 nothing but kp kp3 of course kp5 of course kp7 like that many are there is these are all are equal or less than or greater than tell me which is greater which is least tell me for example i am taking alpha is equals to 90 degrees for example i am taking alpha is equals to alpha is equals to 90 degrees or alpha is equals to 120 degrees for example for simplification so tell me kp1 kp1 is equals to cos alpha by 2 cos alpha by 2 nothing but cos 60 cos 60 nothing but 0 0.5 kp1 0 0.5 what is kp3 kp3 nothing but cos of 3 alpha by 2 cos of 3 alpha by 2 nothing but 120 by 2 60 cos of 180 cos 180 how much 63 times cos 180 minus 1 nothing but which is greater here this kp1 is greater than kp3 is greater than like this for example if you take here 60 degrees or 90 degrees here 90 degrees what is kp1 kp1 is equals to cos of 90 by 2 cos of 90 by 2 cos 45 what is cos 45 value can you tell me don't say 1 by root 2 root 2 by 1 i value i want value in numerical very good 0 0.707 1 by root 2 boleto 0 0.707 what is kp3 kp3 nothing but cos of 3 alpha by 2 cos of 3 alpha by 2 2 1 so 2 45 is a cos 125 so like that if you calculate whatever it may be you get the answer is like this always kp1 is greater than kp3 is greater than kp5 is greater than kp7 another example take alpha is equals to 60 degrees what is kp1 kp1 is equals to cos 60 by 2 cos 60 by 2 cos 30 cos 30 is 0 0.866 what is kp3 kp3 is equal to cos of 3 alpha by 2 cos of 3 alpha by 2 nothing but 330 is a 90 cos 90 zero like this this is the concept of short pitch winding very 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 important they may ask you question getting or not are you okay so finally one question what is that for example my coil span is for example my coil span is my coil span is 6 by 7 of 180 degrees. My coil span is 6 by 7 of 180 degrees. Which harmonics eliminated? 
they will ask you question like this which harmonics eliminated when beta is equals to when beta is equals to 6 by 7th of 180 degrees they are asking I said you formula for beta 180 of n minus 1 by n nothing but 7 7 minus 1 6 7 minus 1 6 and 7 7 by 6 by 7th of 180 nothing but in this case n is equals to 7 so tell me in this case which harmonics eliminated 7th order harmonics eliminated for example they will ask you a question like this 8 by 9th of 8 by 9th of 180 degrees nothing but here n is equals to 9 so which order harmonics eliminated 9th order harmonics eliminated for example, they will ask you a question, 2 by 3 times of full pitch. Coil span is equals to 2 by 3 times of full pitch. For full pitch, what is the value of coil span? Full pitch boleto 180 degrees. Full pitch boleto 180 degrees. 2 by 3 times of 180, nothing but n is equals to 3. So which are the harmonics eliminated? third order harmonics eliminated like this they will ask you questions on short pitch winding very important concept is this are you okay getting or not right thank you